<laughs> She's so pretty. Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. If you caught my last few videos, you know that I have unboxed all three of the 2017 Barbie Fashion Model Collection dolls, at least the ones that we have so far. They all have the new articulated silkstone body. Now, for the millionth time, you guys know that I am um, not 100% into the body. I have to be honest and say that I really, really have been missing the old silkstones that we had from years ago. Because I still have Barbie fashion model collections from years before that I haven't yet deboxed, I thought we would go ahead and get started. So today I'm gonna start deboxing dolls from my 2013 Barbie fashion model collection. This was back when I was still sort of starting my collection um, or the new phase of my collection, I guess. And I don't have all the dolls from the collection, which makes me very sad but I do have three, so you guys will have to tune in to the next couple of videos to see which three they are. Today we are gonna start with Cocktail Dress Barbie Doll, who I think is absolutely stunning and probably one of my favorites from the collection, even though they really are all magnificent. And I'm so excited to be opening up a doll that does not have the articulated body and has all the beautiful elements from years past that we love in the Barbie fashion model collection. Without further ado, let's get started. So obviously I have taken her out of her mailer and I have opened her up before because I just could not wait. And um, I also did get her way before I started my YouTube channel, but I have not taken a look at her in, oh gosh, probably well over a year. So I'm excited to finally get her out of the box and see what she's all about. She is a gold label doll, and this was the year that all the trimming was done in this beautiful light blue, which I loved so much, oh my gosh. She came out on Valentine's Day of 2013, and um, what a true treat she is. Um, so this is what she looks like inside, um, opening the ribbon up, and her little shoes are peeking through, oh my gosh. Let's open her up and have a moment all over again, shall we? One, two, and three. <gasps> living, living. <laughs> Forgot how beautiful she is, oh, wow. I just cannot tell you how much I miss the old silk stones, and I feel like with the new silk stones that we've had this year, um, all the collectors that loved these gals have been like stalking them on eBay because let me tell you, their prices have gone up a sky high. It's exciting to go back in time after seeing the new collections and sort of seeing what the dolls used to be like um, back when Barbie, I guess, was making more money as a company. Here's our gorgeous beauty of the hour cocktail dress Barbie doll in her box. I mean, those earrings and the makeup and the lip color, you guys, and that hair color, hello. She really, really is just the epitome of beautiful fashion. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous black Dorsey pumps there. I can't wait to get more into this black lace. Here is the back of the box. There's a beautiful photo of her and a little story about her outfit and she is limited to 14,200 pieces worldwide. She lifts up just like so from her base. Um, her care instructions are underneath and her beautiful certificate of authenticity cocktail dress Barbie doll is underneath that. She does have traditional silkstone packaging in the back here. She's tied down with black ribbons and there is some basting happening that I think is holding down her beautiful dress. She does come with the standard white silkstone base that's weighted and the saddle stand that is here in the corner. <gasps> yeah! Yay! Hello, darling. How are you? Sweetie, 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 darling. She does have plastic um, wrapped around her bodice here. Uh, and that, I believe, is to keep from the black lace transferring onto her body. Her gorgeous little Watteau train is cinched in with the dress. So, um, oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh, it's all one piece. Oh my God, yes. This is such a Suresh drape right here. <gasps> if you guys caught my black um, gown that I made for one of my girlfriends, um, I did this exact same thing where I draped a train um, onto the dress directly with the same fabric. And I love that so much. This is such, God, such 
a Suresh detail. <gasps> yes! Yeah! So beautiful, all these details. Oh, I wanted to give you guys a close up of cocktail dress fully dressed before we go ahead and take a look at the pieces close up. I mean, her face is stunning, beautiful earrings. I believe these are the same earrings that we saw in gold on Little Red Dress. Um, she does also have a hairnet right there. It blends in beautifully into her hair. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I really need to take that out because I love that little um, bump that the ponytail has. Here is the plastic wrap around her shoulders on her bodice there protecting her from getting stained. Uh, there is the close-up detail of the dress and her beautiful little Watteau train back here, which as you can see is quite rumpled because it was cinched in like this into her dress. Then here are her beautiful Dorsey pumps. They're the same pumps that we saw on Little Red Dress as well. Here she is in the back, just like so. Um, gorgeous. There we can see the snap closure that's holding her dress together and all the details there just love and then there's the line going down her leg my goodness isn't this just everything that we all love as doll lovers and barbie lovers you guys oh can't so beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and take her hairnet off i know that's really scary i feel like i'm not gonna see that full bounce in her hair the way her promo photo is if i don't do that so i'm actually gonna go ahead and cut the hairnet um off uh, very carefully please say a prayer for me that I don't ruin this so I was super super careful with taking the hairnet out obviously but her little hair bow just popped right off um, it's fastened with a little plastic tab so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and plop that right back in there um, I don't think it's a big deal and I can probably reaffix it pretty easily oh me being so indecisive with these details oh and there's her beautiful manicure oh so sweet love the silkstone hands oh the old hands are everything <laughs> swear you guys filming in the summer is not fun no matter how much i crank the ac on in here it gets a hella hot also because i'm wearing velvet what genius inside me thought that i should wear velvet when it's like 100 degrees out today this is a beautiful black lace here that is actually edged so lovely almost finished off like a traditional Chantilly lace would be finished off. That is just so perfect and so couture. The dress is designed in a way that even when this Watteau train is picked up to her shoulders, everything still stays the same length, which is what a Watteau train should be. However, the fact that they actually stuck with it is just beyond brilliant to me. I love that so much. Look at that, oh, love. This is such an old world French haute couture. Um, style of garment in that it is layered so beautifully all the pieces are so beautifully made everything down to the undergarments has this very delicate feel to it which really is what um, a couture dress in this um, genre should be like let me go ahead and take the dress off so that we can get a better look at all the pieces inside yours yours so there's what the dress looks like by the way without the underskirt so definitely like um falls a little bit more onto her body um and not as full although it still does have the beautiful shape because it is a full a fully paneled dress are you dying i am gagging over this so it's just her top portion that's wrapped you all know that i just cannot deal with this crinkling plasticky thing of a jigger yes 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 perfect yay here's our beauty in the buff my god that face is all kinds of magic don't you think beautiful piercing blue eyes love that silver micro glitter that's on her lids so beautiful i like that it ties in her gorgeous earrings with the little drop white pearl love so much her signature uh beauty mark is on the right side of her face um gorgeous uh pink lips there that also match her manicure love the highlight underneath the brow it's like a soft, frosty pink. Um, just, just such a beautiful combination. I absolutely love the makeup with the hair so much. And here is her gorgeous traditional silkstone body that you know I miss so much. Her beautiful little hands. Oh, live for these hands. There's her manicure right there. Um, same color pink that's on her lips. Here are her pantyhose. 
um, standard silkstone hose that we see on all of our beautiful dolls. And then when we look up close, we can see her beautiful pedicure shining through. Here is her absolutely magnificent cocktail dress. My God, you guys, this is such a little piece of art right here. I love this so much. Check out all the little details here in the lace and how beautifully um, well made it is. You can see the little black crystals kind of very gently shining through. It's edged beautifully as well. The little black crystals that are kind of very gently and sporadically placed um, give it a nice little sheen. You can see up close that it is all done out of one big panel of lace. Here are the two little bows. There's one underneath her bust and then one at the waist. Um, sort of like two ribbon belts going across her. The dress is not lined, so we could say that's a bit of a whack whack. However, um, the craftsmanship is lovely in that you can see all the work that's gone into this. You can see that the panels are all individually done here. You can see that the lace and the tool have been captured from each panel and brought in which is wonderful you can see the little notches and all the details there i love that so much you can see that the dress opens and closes with three silver snaps right there the watto train um, splits down the center it is seamed and it is open just to about there so we can get the dress on and off here's a view from underneath the dress um, there are seven individual little panels that have all gone in to make this beautiful dress and give it its gorgeous shape. There is her beautiful little Barbie collection tag. I really love the color of this gorgeous champagne silk. It's a beautiful polyester silk. I love so much. We can see here that the dress is actually lined fully in this beautiful lace and then hemmed and edged the same as the panel. So both fabrics were captured at once. Everything was sewn all together here, as you can see when we open up the seams. Um, so yeah, and I think that is to probably give it a little bit more structure so that when it falls, um, it helps support this lace because it this is actually quite a, quite a significant lace in that it does have a, a nice weight to it and will drape beautifully. The dress itself is a strapless silhouette and then with the um, lace over it that connects to the train in the back it then becomes um, a little sleeveless dress here. And look at this little detailing up here on the neckline. You guys, how freaking cute is that, right? Here is her beautiful little underskirt. Um, it's a gorgeous soft black tulle, um, a polyester blend tulle. It is edged in this really, really delicate lace, which I love so much. So there's no raw edges here. Um, I love that you can actually see a little bit of this scalloping sort of peeking through from underneath the dress. Um, and then the waist here is elastic. It could use a nice press. I think that will give it a little bit more of a crispness to it and perhaps um, give us a little bit more volume in the dress. Here are her beautiful little gloves. They are ruched on one side here with a little bit of elastic so they can get on and off easily. It is the most beautiful, beautiful shade of really, really, really soft, light pink that looks almost um, champagne in some light. Here are her gorgeous little Dorsey pumps. Beautiful shoe, I love the silhouette so much. It is the same shoe that we saw in Little Red Dress, and I'm not mad about it because I loved it on her, and I love it on cocktail dress, okay? So there we have it, you guys. This is the absolutely stunning cocktail dress Barbie doll from the 2013 Barbie Fashion Model Collection. Unfortunately, she's no longer available at the Barbie Collection, so if you wanted her, you would have to get her at a third-party seller. And I say this at every video that I talk about third-party sellers, just be careful with where you're going and what you're buying. There are some real nasty crooks out there who are just out for the money, let me tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please Please be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Find me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are going to head downtown to the brand new Whitney Museum. There is a gorgeous summer cocktail afternoon that's happening there and we are so excited to be dressed up and ready for the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Barbie here in New York. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another new video. Okay, bye.